I have my own private driver who takes me to school in Lamborghini. Posted it because it's about beauty stuff. Y'all know? Nope! I have a flower! So, welcome to our channel, cutie. So today, we brought another episode of us trying six different aesthetics of makeup and fashion look for six days. Yes. So, last time, we tried Cottage Core E Girl, Bad Girl Art, Mom Y2K, and Soft Girl aesthetics. Yes. And this time, we're gonna be trying Dark Academia. Ooh. Ooh. Fairy Core, Skater Girl, Preppy, Indicate, and Visco Girl aesthetics. So we're the type of people who stick with only one makeup for entire year. So I think this would be a good chance for us to, you know, play with different makeup and looks. And maybe we can discover a look that we actually like. Yeah. By the way, kitties, this video we partnered up with Moss! So we've actually introduced Moss multiple times in our IG story when cuties asked us, like, what type of lipstick color we use. For those of you cuties who don't know, one of our favorite lipstick brand and color that we practically use in 99% of all of our video, including this one, is Moss number 105 Rose on Color. Yeah. All of our videos, the intro, whatever, the color that we use is, Always is this. Moss 105 Rose On. Yeah. So Moss is a fairly new Korean cosmetic brand. And we actually discovered this brand through one of our PR packages that we got around May. We do receive a quite a good amount of PR packages for cosmetics. Mm -hmm. But it's not quite often that we come across a lipstick that we really, really like. But these Moss Aramat Rouge lipstick instantly became our favorite from the moment we tried it. And I don't know, maybe Moss kind of knew that their lipstick is one of our favorite. Mm -hmm. One thing led to another. Other, we got the chance to introduce these babies to you, cutie. We are meant to be moss, yes. Let's build a long term relationship. <laughs> so, these are called Air Mad Rouge lipsticks, and they come in a gorgeous shade. So, one of the main reasons we love these lipsticks is because of its texture. Mm -hmm. It's matte, yet creamy and soft, literally slides during application, and it's so easy to blend and it lasts really, really long. And don't worry, although it is called matte, it's not that type of matte that would like accentuate the dead skin on your lips. It has like that right amount of hydration, almost like a soft air mat that even Kujin, who has like a very chappy lips, can totally use it. So let's talk about the colors, cuties. They're so vibrant and rich. Yeah. So first we have 101 Infusion Coral. It's a classic coral color with a subtle salmon color. It has this paradoxical charm between a vibrant coral and calm salmon color. And great thing about coral shade is that it is flattering to any type of skin, whether tan or fair complexion. So next is 102 Plum Orchid, and I feel I feel like this is the most unicolor out of all the eight shades. It has this deep rosy color that reminds us of red plum. It's a very elegant shade and I like how the deepness of the color is just moderate so that it can also be worn easily for daily wear. Next we have 103 Ripe Mulberry and OMG. You mm -hmm. kids know that we don't usually go for these type of color but the moment we applied it, we just fell in love with this color. It's such an eye-catching color and quite sexy too. Again, it has a hint of plum but with a mix of dark red burgundy, it's such a sexy sexy burgundy color that reminds us of a plum that intensifies its color as it gets riper. So we don't really wear a lot of like heavy eye makeup. So this pop of strong and rich color is perfect for our type of makeup. So next we have a 104 Prime Peach, which is a peach color with a basic beige. It's a great base color that harmonizes with pretty much any type of makeup look. If you're a fan of soft and nudie peach color, this Prime Peach shade is for you. It's definitely a color that instantly makes you look lovable and soft. Like me. Next is our all-time favorite 105 Rose On. If you love MLB color, mm. just go for Rose On. The shade perfectly captures the Marcella roses on a gentle atmosphere of a fog at dawn in a deep forest. <laughs> Nothing more to say, but I just love, love this dried rose color. So next we have a 106 New Wave red, red, which is a crimson orange color with a touch of red. If you're searching for that perfect cool tone red, you should definitely go for this 106 New Wave red. I feel like it's such a classic red color that instantly elevates your look, and it's just perfect for special occasion. And I love how this shades really brighten your complexion. Yeah, I, I, I we already did this challenge. I love this red. This red is my red. Next we have 107 Tint Rose. It's a pink 
pinkish rose with hint of coral color which I feel like is such a useful and quirky interpretation of a rose color. The color is so lively and cute a perfect shade for a date look or not even just for a date but if you feel like it's a day that you want to put some bright color on your makeup mm -hmm. the tinge rose color is for you. Last but not least we have 108 Red Fair in Whoa. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> this has to be one of the red out there man <laughs> it's definitely a warmer tone of red compared to 106 new wave red shade we just introduced previously and it's such a charismatic shade that it's perfect when you want to feel special or when you feel like a girl, girl boss so whether you have a dark medium or light skin tone color i'm pretty sure you'll be able to find a shade that you like out of all of these eight shades mm -hmm. and hopefully our explanation did the justice of these colors yes. these colors are so gorgeous mm -hmm. okay kitty so now let's create six different aesthetics with the moss air matte rouge lipstick let's do it Welcome cutie. So I'm gonna go for a preppy aesthetic. So according to the aesthetic wiki, the preppy visual aesthetic draws a lot of cues from the upper classes of society that would often eventually find themselves attending some sort of Ivy League school like Harvard, Princeton, or Yale. Some of the brands that are intrinsically tied to a preppy styles are Ralph Lauren and Tommy Hilfiger. You can see lots of classic vests, tennis skirts, Oxford shirts, platform Oxford shoes, cable knit cricket sweaters, and tartan skirts, and more. So yeah, I go to like private school mm -hmm. and I have my own Butler. I have my own private driver who takes me to school in Lamborghini. What is school bus? Is it like a school in a bus? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so obviously it's a school look, so I'm not gonna go like crazy, mm -hmm. but just like very natural. Okay. But I'm just gonna very lightly contour because you still gotta look sharp. Okay. What did you do? <laughs> What's the difference? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so after I tightened my waterline, I warmed up the Moss 105 Rose on color on my palm and applied as an eyeshadow. It's the perfect color to give that subtle pink blush on your eyelids. Ooh. Then I gave some highlights at the inner corner on my eyes, which I was feeling it, and some mascara. Then I applied the same Moss lipstick color on my cheeks, which gave that perfect, youthful, flushy cheeks. And finally, for the lips, I applied the same color in Moss 105 Rose on. Ah, I look so gorgeous. Pretty. So this is our regular lipstick. Yes. So we always so we use always daily. Use. A lot of cuties ask us what the color is. It's Moss 105 Rose on. And that's pretty much it, cuties. Hey, bitches. Did you do my homework tonight? <laughs> I'm going to collect it today. <laughs> And you, do you bring my lunch? <laughs> I'll be like the meanest girl if I do this preppy yesterday. Oh my god, this bag's so heavy. Hey bitch, come here. <laughs> my bag. <laughs> I mean, obviously for preppy, like, you gotta go for a checkered skirt, right? I really hope our middle school uniform was at least this cute. Yeah. From what I remember, it was like a black skirt, like yeah. meaty skirt. It wasn't even a flowy skirt. It's it was like a, a trapezoid skirt. Yeah. And then I wore a oversized white shirt with a vest. And then a lot of the preppy aesthetic girls were doing like a hairband. Yeah. So I went with this, a white one. Then I have my little backpack. Preppy aesthetic, you have to go for some kind of socks with this kind of Oxford platform shoe. And I love my makeup. It's like kind of rosy, like innocent, schoolgirl. Not vibe. too much. Yeah, not too much. <laughs> Are you just scolding me that I didn't do my homework, Professor Han? Well, you know, my daddy supports the school. So... <laughs> and I know you took some bride money from my daddy. <laughs> Sorry, cuties, but I was totally feeling this mean preppy girl aesthetics, lol. I can totally play a role in the K-drama penthouse. And you know what? This makeup look is actually very similar to my daily makeup look. Overall, love how simple and useful this preppy aesthetic looks. Hi, gorgeous! Oh, no, it's not working. Hi, ah, damn it. I love sneezing. So for today's my look, this is my favorite. It's dark academia aesthetic. Whoa. Okay, so for me, dark academia aesthetic, uh, it gave me like a gothic, but in a school vibe. It's not Wingardium Leviosa. It's Wingardium Leviosa. Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> it gave me so much of Harry Potter vibe. It says Dark Academia revolves around classic literature, the pursuit of self-discovery, and a general passion for knowledge and learning. Exactly like me. And the main inspiration of Dark Academia fashion comes from the 1940s prep school uniform. So for my look, I'm gonna follow this YouTuber. She has a channel called Salute and she did a Dark Academia makeup tutorial. I'm gonna skip eyebrow cuties because you can't even see my eyebrow. I'm gonna use this color. What is this color? Uh, it's a brown color, nudie color, all over my lid. It's more like an orangish brown. Oh, is it? Okay, then it's orangey brown. <laughs> and drag it. And then you go for a little more darker color. Don't you think you're using too big brush? Oh no, I already ruined it. Man, I suck at makeup. Oh, tight line, no water line. And then we're gonna get some cat eye. Man, these eyeliners suck like shit. <laughs> Never gonna use this brand. Then mascara. And then some uh, orangey, peachy blush. So for the lipstick, I think this is the nudie one. The 104 Prime Peach. You could have used that for the blush. Oh yeah. Look at that color. A little more blush. Oh, yes. Oh yeah. More so color. Weird. I love this type of emo baby color. And then you can decide to put on a hair extensions to give out an extra dark academic aesthetic vibe. Ah. <gasps> <Yes>. <laughs> wow! Different person. Wow, this is really dark academia, sister. Talk. <laughs> okay, first of all, this is by far my favorite makeup look on Kujin. This is a perfect look for fall too. The nudie peach lip color with a strong smoky eyes really go well with her over aesthetic. Since dark academia aesthetic emphasizes on school uniform looks, we went with the light blouse with light brown sweaters on top and oxford shoes with black knee ties and a pleated skirt. Oh, and it seems like a simple gold pendant necklace is a must in this aesthetic. So perfect. Okay, then why don't you put a spell on yourself and disappear? Okay, how do you say the spell? I think we should do. <laughs> Sis, where are you? I'm here. <laughs> Today my look is Indie Kid Aesthetic. And based on my research, there's so many colors involved. And just like kids, a lot of their top are very croppy and small. Ooh, so are we gonna see your side or under boobs today? Okay, you missed it. So I'm so excited because I get to like really explore with colors, uh -huh. which I don't normally do for my makeup. For the eye makeup, it's just one color, but I'm gonna put a lot of like bling bling. Drag it underneath. But I want more jazz, okay? Because I'm a greedy bitch. I'm gonna put a little gel here on the top layer on both sides. Wow! Oh, that's not it. I'm gonna put some sparkles. Jesus, this is some kind of like festival look. Look at that. You won't need a headlight while driving at night. So I want to give that fresh look. So I'm not gonna tight line it, mm -hmm. but I'm just gonna drag the outer corner a little bit out. And then mascara. My long lashes. <laughs> Non-existing <laughs> lashes. <laughs> oh, happy birthday, sis! Happy, happy birthday, birthday, sis! Here's my birthday present for you, sis. What is it, sis? What is it? A love punch! <laughs> this year, I'm gonna bake my own cake. Sis, no one's buying me a cake. <laughs> I'll make mine, bitch! <laughs> so, I'm gonna literally draw a flower on my face with the face paint. Every time when we do this type of aesthetic challenges, we realize how different looks make you feel and act differently. And sometimes it's not bad to be a different version of you. I discovered how much I look great in bright colors and will love to try it out more often. Oh, you look so pretty. Thanks. Wow. Wow, this is so fun. It's quite therapeutic. Ooh, when was the last time we like played with face paint? Never. Well, we did it in like kindergarten, I believe. We did? Yes. I don't like, remember. I just remember eating and sleeping. <laughs> Dude, do you want me to tell you a little story about Kijin? What? This was in Oklahoma, okay? Okay. So mom went to the kindergarten uh -huh. without any notification. You didn't know that mom's gonna show up on your kindergarten, okay? Okay. And then she was so surprised because all the kids were playing and having fun. And do you know what you were doing? <laughs> what? You were literally stuffing your face with peanut butter. <laughs> what? Yeah, you were holding a jar, oh. using your finger, and you go, <laughs> So for the lipstick, today I'm gonna do 107 Tendros. Ooh, that's a perfect shade for your right. makeup. Ooh, the color's so pretty. Yeah. 
That's actually Mama Kiki's favorite yeah. lipstick color. It makes you a little feel more useful, like mm -hmm. these kind of colors. OMG, cuties. I am digging this look. This bright tangerine eyeshadow with colorful floral face paint and this 107 tinge rose lipstick color really seems to do the justice of Indie Kit aesthetics. For the outfits, to add more colors, I decided to go with this rainbow colored halter crop top and colorful butterfly necklace. Then I wore a high waisted denim pants and finished off with my trusty chunky loafers. Hi, Kitty! What are you doing today, sis? I gotta be in character today. So mine is a skater girl aesthetic. It's my look because it's all about like baggy stuff <laughs> and like dark. To the dark side. <laughs> <laughs> So skater is an aesthetic centered around skater culture created in the 1940s and that has evolved throughout the decade. And the activities are like skateboarding, going to skate in abandoned places, drinking and smoking. I don't smoke and drink to these. <laughs> so how are you gonna do your makeup today, sis? Oh, so I'm actually gonna follow this girl. She has a YouTube channel called Marlin's Makeup. So I didn't do my eyebrows, but I'm just not gonna do it anyway because what's the point, you know? <laughs> So here you go. So what are you doing? What color are you putting? Oh, you um, it's like, oh, is this color? <laughs> Subtle brown? Yes, yes, yes. That's pretty much it for oh. the eyeshadow. Really? <laughs> I'm gonna make a wing. And then she put false lashes. What's going on there? I'm sweating. And then she doesn't do any blushes, but then she creates a bunch of fake freckles. Ah! Is that too much? No. Oh, look at the highlight! Oh my god, that's so cute. Next, the highlight is the lipstick, cause it's red! <laughs> wow! wow. Wow, my sister looks so pretty. Okay, cuties, beside a skater girl aesthetic look, sister looks so good in this 108 red fair lip color with her daily natural makeup look. Like her complexion got so much brighter and that lips though. Damn, girl. It says that in general, skater girl wear baggy pants and shirts, which is actually Kyujin's favorite go to outfit style. So this was easy peasy. Then she accessorized with beanie, layered necklaces, and her fave sneakers. Act like you're actually riding a skateboard. <laughs> <laughs> and do a little trick. <laughs> Morning, cuties. So today my aesthetic is Visco Girl. According to Wikipedia, they say Visco Girls are a youth subculture that emerged among teenagers around mid to late 2019. And it was named after the Visco Photography app. Didn't you use this app? Oh, yeah. I used that? Yeah. Oh. So Visco Girls dress and act in a way that is nearly indistinguishable from one another using oversized t-shirts, scrunchies, hydro flasks, crocs, instant cameras, metal straws, friendship bracelets, Birkenstock, shell necklace, and other beach related fashion so okay. you kind of get the visualization it's right totally like californian girl yeah. look, look up to the, the hotel, hotel california, california. okay <laughs> so makeup wise i just want to go very like natural glowy sun-kissed kind of makeup mm. does it make any difference <laughs> what did he do <laughs> and i'm just going to use a very light beige cream for my eyelid They kind of drag it out. Let's get the sun kiss glow. Can you be the mean visco girl? Sure. I'm just gonna do some beer. <laughs> Good enough. <laughs> So what's the lipstick choice for today? Today is 101 Infusion Coral and I'm actually going to use this as a cheek as well today. Ooh. Kind of like sunburn. So creamy, the yeah. texture. Love it. Ooh, Ooh, man, your lips looks like million times bigger, man. Thank you, it's called illusion. <laughs> okay, what's for the hair? Uh, I'm just gonna do a high ponytail mm -hmm. and then finish it off with a scrunchie. Oh, why is your hair so spiky? Is that is that the way how you do it? Yeah. It's like little little papaya tree. <laughs> 
Since we lived in California for five years, we knew exactly what Visco Girl meant. We have seen many of these aesthetics, especially on the beach side like Santa Monica. And I remember we always admired the useful, fresh, and energetic aura they gave out. Thanks to this challenge, I finally became one of them. LOL. For the outfits, I wore a blue tie-dye oversized t-shirt with a matching pants, a backpack, Birkenstocks with anklets, pearl accessories, and holding a hydro flask. I'm gonna go get some seashell. Do you wanna go with me? You can see some turtles. <laughs> What's with you and turtles? They say the turtle conservation is part of the Visco girls. Girls. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Can you see these some turtles right here? Okay. Bam! <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh, I bit my lips! Today I'm turning into a fairy quest aesthetic. So I found this picture on Google and this girl, oh my gosh, she looks so pretty. Wow, wow, is that a human? It looks like animation. Yeah. But she looks so gorgeous. So I was like, <gasps> I gotta turn into this. I don't know, I'll just go with the flow, okay? Can you see the pink? Um, like subtly. What did you do? <laughs> wow, how does she touch that? What do you think? Yeah! <laughs> and all the fairies, like I saw the YouTube tutorial, they all do blush here. Lots of blush here. Oh, I look so cute! <laughs> Doesn't look quite pigmented on the camera, but I am like freaking dude. red right yeah. now. It hurts! <laughs> so the freckles, it's like, it's not like, oh my god. I think this is the most amount of color you have ever put in your face. Yeah. Okay, cuties, we bought a, what do you, what do you call this? New tone tape for your eyelid? It's an eyelid tape. It's kind of make you have like a double eyelid. Yes. I do have a double eyelid, but I want to make it more exaggerated. Yes. Okay, to be honest, she should have put this before she started her makeup. makeup. Huh. Hush. Hush. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Whoa. I look really weird. So I'm going to put pearls. Highlight here, obviously. So for the lipstick, I'm using the Moss Air Matte Rouge in 102 Plum Orchid. Ooh, mm, such a pretty color. Wow. Ooh. And some people they even do the highlight around their like ear. OMG, we couldn't get over with this final look. The combination of the colorful eye makeup and 102 Plum Orchid lipstick was perfect. And it's such a great color to create that flush cheek look. Cute! For the outfit, Gigi decided to go for this simple white dress with angelic puff sleeves and ruffles. We wanted to create that innocent and pure fairy image for this fairy core aesthetic, so this outfit was perfect. Where's your wing? You should fly. <laughs> they came out. Welcome back, cuties. Yeah, so that was our sixth aesthetic. When we do this type of aesthetic challenge, it's the only time when we explore different type of makeup, makeup. looks and different aesthetic looks. I think it's also a time we discover that we have that kind of makeup on our storage. <laughs> Through this challenge, I realized so many different colors of lipstick actually suits my face. Well, good for you, sis. Especially that, that what, what, what was it? The crimson orange with the hint of red. Well, new wave red? New wave red is my new favorite color, dude. I like the, the, the red fair, 108 red fair. Because usually we don't go for a red. Yeah, because we just... I just feel like small lips doesn't don't really go with the red, red lips. lips. Yeah. So let us know in the comment section below, cuties, which look and which color of shade was your favorite. Yeah. And also let us know what kind of different aesthetic we should try next time. Yeah, we're running out of Not ideas. Because so far we did 12 aesthetics, so yes. is there more than 12 aesthetics? Mm -hmm. So the links to all of Moss Air Matte Rouge lipsticks will be at the description box below, cuties. So make sure to check it out. Yeah. So I'll be in this video and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye! Oh, like coffee or tea?